And just like that, we're back. Welcome to the stream, everyone. We're back with some more Tomb Raider. I have been, as y'all know, enjoying this game immensely, and I think we're going to start off nice and calm. Maybe head over into this area, snag that coin cash, do a couple of things. I don't know if I'll manage to track down the remaining bullseye, but I feel like there was a high dive area somewhere over here. So we'll definitely double check that, because, well, I want to do the high dive one. I'm just too lazy to actually hunt out the... Uh, all of the targets. It'll be interesting, actually. I'm not sure if we have enemies in the camp over there. Let's take a second and adjust our weapons for this scenario. guys where is the chicken pen did he return greetings greetings yeah i don't know where the chicken pen is hmm. well i guess we'll keep an eye out for it I was thinking that maybe I would have the ability to craft the chickens into an explosive or something. What's this place? Have I been up into this tower before? I feel like I must have. Well, I don't really care to put in the effort to find out where the chicken pens are, so... We'll just accept that I'm not going to achieve that quest. I suppose I should actually put waypoints up. <laughs> Water's doing some funky stuff. I wonder if visibility for enemies changes in the daytime versus at night. Because most of the time that we've traversed this area, it's been nighttime. I think we're planning a big push. No more 
your skirmish unit. What have you heard? One of my guys from the last job is working ops. Says the plan is to go scorch dirt. Just, I was going to say just to play it safe, I'll rig a trap on that guy, but I don't actually know that that's necessary. Because she doesn't even seem to be in fight mode at this point. Which to me says that there isn't anything to fight right around here. just a bunch of bodies sitting right there. Oh well. Okay, I've cleared everything up here. So let's head back to that base camp. Actually, there's a base camp right over here, isn't there? just inside this cave. Hmm. Oh, and I can mine in an attempt to get that chromite ore. Some of the upgrades I get access to. Is there really not a cave in here? head to that base camp. I'm sure that I can deal with any enemies that happen to be along the way. The sounds from those monitors are actually really unsettling. Oh, I forgot about my grappling hook. Uh, 
Why that didn't work the first time. I was right on its heart and it didn't have cover. I know this gun has enough damage to take that thing out. Oh, all it has is a fancy skin. Fine then. Let's just see real quick. There are a couple more locations that we can get to. There's a document in this area. A couple of documents in that area. As well as a mural, a relic. And I'm guessing that mural reveals the strong boxes. Or, not the strong boxes, the um, coin caches. Hmm. So we could go back into there. I don't know why I'm sitting down at the camp. Also, I think that this marker shows where the chicken coop is, so I think we'll actually go ahead and head there, just because that sounds like a nice, easy... Oh, welcome to the stream, Be Marching. How's it going? It seems like a nice, easy side quest to tackle, just for the fun of it. So that looks like it's the yeah. So this is the hen. This is the chicken coop. Hello there. Which means I need to find enough chickens Greetings. to toss into there. Okay, we got one. Finally, an easy side quest. Let's hope that last chicken... Oh, wait. There's some... There are more. things in the valley that I haven't finished. Like, so many challenges in the valley that I haven't finished. It's frustrating, especially with the fun ones like High Dive. <laughs> uh, 
That said, what I really want to take care of is definitely finding things like relics and tombs. Because the tombs are useful, and the relics are interesting. Oh, I'm back up at this base camp. You know what? This might actually be where we head next. Just because... I really want to find... Oh, wait. This is a different location than what I was thinking of. The research base, that's what I was thinking. I think we'll go to the re go back to the research base. Because I really want to finish up the Scorched Earth Challenge. I want to find that last fuel tank that I missed. Yeah, we're going back up to the research base. Okay, now we are going to need to be kind of careful here because the research base is not a safe location. This is roughly the correct direction. We're at the wrong end. <laughs> I don't think we can go back up. I genuinely don't think we can get back up from here because the only way in was to zip line down that. Alright, change of plans. We have to start from the other base camp in this area. here because we cleared a lot of enemies out of this area and by that I have the feeling that there should be a lot of enemies in here but
side of those bushes. Okay, so that's one that we took care of. That fuel tank is well and thoroughly destroyed. So yeah, it looks like the cars do show up on the map. So ideally we can just check each of them. I feel like there's a chance that one of the fuel tanks could be in this facility though, and that could explain why we missed it, because I was kind of zipping out of there to go help Jonah. work towards the survival caches first. Let's change outfits real quick. I won't bother upgrading weapons for the moment. Let's just go with Shadow Runner. This is honestly my preferred outfit so far in this game, just because it lets me use my ammo without worrying as much. truck is wrecked. Oh, is the next one down below? Here? No, it's over there. I'm really surprised that I haven't encountered any enemies here and it's putting me on edge. So there's truck number three. survival cash. But yeah, we can't, I don't even think we can go farther down. Or maybe we can. Make our way back to here and double check, but if I had to take a guess, I would say that the remaining fuel tank is somewhere up here. I think it might be this thing. Well, let's check back here so that we don't have to repeat this journey.
There was a small part of me that was hoping that death might have been the fastest way back up to the campsite, but no. Yeah, so we've cleared out almost everything, but there is a mural that we've never spotted somewhere in one of these areas. And there's the challenge that we have. Watch as now suddenly enemies have spawned because we're heading up instead of down. <laughs> Can't climb on this thing. Well, I can go under it. That's kind of cool. It's nice that they can just stick in a random invisible barrier. It's not really that cool. It makes sense, as far as physics goes. be kind of cool if there was actually a location in one of these games that Lara discovered that no one else had. Because up to this point, every location... Oh, that's a... That's a rope arrow anchor point? Hang on. Oh no, it's just climbable arrows, that's what I thought. Up to this point, every location Lara has discovered has been found by basically everyone before her. It's not quite as exciting to discover what has been discovered many times before. Arrows are working kind of funky today. Yeah, I just straight up can't anchor the second one. skill keeps going up. So 
So yeah, now the only thing that we have left to do in this area is complete the remaining challenge, which I'm pretty sure means heading back into the base, because I can't think of anywhere else that we could find. Yeah, I just want to take a second and appreciate this underwater. I can't think of anywhere else that we could find another fuel tank. All of the rest have been on trucks and stuff, and there are no more trucks. <laughs> gotta be somewhere in here and I just never found it the first time. And how's there still like how did nothing ever happen with this helicopter pad? It's such a cinematic location and we never used it. I'm confused. <laughs> That's not a fuel tank. Okay, once we get all the way up here... This is the area that we rushed down from. So now, we're just gonna take our time. Oh, and because we took our time, we found a sneaky little secret area that doesn't seem to have any purpose. This is the first location where we could actually stop on our way down. It looks like if we get all the way down there, we can kind of make our way back up, I'm guessing. Because I don't see a way... Is that a ladder that we can actually grab onto? I love how she died before she hit the ground. Because, yeah, we definitely can't get off partway through that. There's nothing below us to grab onto. alternative I can see is potentially like just jumping over in that direction. And that really doesn't seem like a path that we've set up for. Wait.
maybe we can approach that from the other side? I don't know. Let's try going farther down. And then we'll see if we can find a way back. found a way to get to here. Oh, I think I see the truck, actually. I don't see the flammable thing near it to ignite it. Oh! Okay, that was 100% something I can grapple on to. I don't know why that didn't. Well, at least we found the truck. That said... Why isn't this working? I just try running and jumping for it. Why isn't this working? This is definitely supposed to be possible. gonna bug me for a long time. I can already tell. Anyway, we got one more tanker to take out. For the life of me, I don't understand how I can't get into that other stuff. Like, there was climbable stuff in that area, but, like, <laughs> I'm so confused now. <laughs> it's taunting me. Alright, let's figure out where we're headed next. We've completed the research base 100% despite having a large area that we were never able to reach. Soviet installation. We've got most of it. There's a survival cache that we never picked up. And an explorer satchel that we never but I'm not going to bother with the remaining challenge in that area because I honestly don't feel like going all the way through it and burning um, 
burning posters. Yeah, we can head there, pick that up. We'll pick up the explorer satchel because that might reveal the coin caches. I'm hoping. So we'll zip on over to the excavation shaft. I remember this tomb. And there's our satchel. That's the only thing it revealed, sadly. I think that is farther out the other way. Oh yeah, it totally expected us to find that satchel when we first came through here. Is this the exit that brings me out, like, halfway up the research facility, like, right here? I think it might be. In which case, we may have to do some fighting in a minute here. So, is this that survival cache that was like float? No, there was a relic that was floating above the world. The survival cache is just up from here. It's just that we're still pretty low down.
Okay. Really? Why is it doing this again? Well, nothing for it except to exit out. It behaved so well last weekend. I don't know why it suddenly decided to freeze up again. Oh well. At least those people weren't that difficult to fight if we have to do it again. And surely it auto-saved when we exited the tomb. They took away our arrows with nothing to show for it. I'm not bothering to seek them out, but I will shoot them if I see them. can pick up here? Anything that I'm not already full on? survival cash and it looks like none of the enemies down in this area have respawned oh and we can afford an inventory upgrade after all that Large rifle ammo pouch. Yeah, why not? The shot, the sniper, and the machine gun are my most used weapons at this point, so. High capacity mag. Or improved firing speed. Take the high capacity mag. Okay, where to next? I'm trying to be thorough. I don't think that we're coming up on the last game, or the last area, but... Like to clear some stuff out while we still have time to do so. You know what? 
This may seem random, but we haven't revisited the Wicked Vale in ages. Let's actually go there. Let's finish up the documents in the Wicked Vale. So I think that's all that's left to do there. Hey, welcome to the stream, Lastborn. How's it going? We're starting off nice and chill. I'm just hitting up some side quests that I've not finished yet. And some minor objectives. Now I believe I'm heading the wrong way. Know the document over here we needed the grappling hook for. Ah, it's under. it would be simple. Most of these rough, stinking thugs take what they want from the prisoners. I chose Ivan because I thought he would bend, but it is worse than I thought. He is a good man. He does not want to be here any more than I. That sentiment holds little weight when he eats well and sleeps with a blanket, but I credit him with a moral compass these others lack. This place sickens him. He knows his part in it, hates what he does. I caught him pushing back when he thought no one was watching to calm his guilt. I told him it was not enough. Showed him how to do more. We worked well together. Planned our escape. But it is too late. I am pregnant. We are damned. Isn't anything that we hadn't already learned, but it's another document, and I think there are like three more in the other area. At least one of which is accessible only with the graphic. I just like collecting the lore. <laughs> I think that's what a lot of this comes down to. I enjoy the bits where we get to hear about the other perspectives in the game. Even if some of them are, especially if it's like Constantine's perspective, some of them are very uncomfortable. Okay, let's try and head toward that. Huh. You found anything new? It's been a while since we talked. Oh crap, I accidentally left on the assault rifle. Oh well, this was easy. I don't know how I didn't manage to find this before. <laughs> I have suspended all construction at the shrine and ordered the workers to prepare for the return trip. I should have left weeks ago, sought advice from our city's wisest. The violence increased, slowly at first, and I passed it off as raw nerves, pressure to succeed. But now it cannot be denied that something evil inhabits the Vale. It preys on our worst nature, makes us susceptible to dark suggestions. Yesterday, a young stonecutter brought me news of a scaffolding collapse that ruined much of the day's work before I knew what was happening. My aid had to pull me off the youth, who lay bloodied and insensible. When I washed my hands, I found a fragment of his teeth embedded in the flesh of my knuckles. I do not know myself any longer. It is time to leave. Dang. 
So I guess this stuff actually makes you specifically prone to violence. Not just making you suggestive. But specifically suggestive. Interesting. Okay, this is the one that I know that we can get to now. Because the one that was higher up, I couldn't even figure out a path to reach. Maybe it'll be solved with... Maybe it'll be solved with the grappling hook too. I just don't know off the top of my head how. Because I don't remember any high hanging ledges that I couldn't get to. This one... I remembered the grappling hook spot. I am last. There are others. Raids who haunt the veil. But they are no longer human. They wear familiar faces, cry out for help in the voice of dead friends, but I will not believe their lies. My sword keeps them at bay, quiets them if they will not stop screaming. I tried to lead us to safety, I did, but someone collapsed the passages leading back to the city. Once we realized there would be no escape, we turned on each other. Now, a madman with a bow is perched high above the veil, and he brings down the message birds I sent with pleas for help. The ways to return, more than I can drive away. No one will survive this veil. Perhaps it's for the best that these, my last words. Yeah, they was tripping. The remaining document is over there, but off the top of my head, I'm really not sure how to get to it. I think the first step will just be making it to a higher level. See, last time, I managed to find that if you anchored a rope into that thing, as it wound up, it would raise one of these platforms. But I could never find somewhere to anchor it that would allow us to actually progress. I think that was the closest thing to it. Get back on the platforms. We're keeping an eye out for anywhere that we might be able to hook on to with the grappling hook now that we have more freedom of movement. And I am actually. Oh, that doesn't work. Thank <laughs> you. 
This was the only one that I could find. This was the only connection point that I could find for that. If we do it, it raises that. Wait. Does that stay put now? That wasn't staying put before. I am incredibly confused. This game has some really weird glitches in it. Okay. We're gonna wait for that lowest one to come back around, because I think that'll be our fastest way to get back. I think that'll be our fastest way to get back up. Okay, let's carry us around. Might not actually be the fastest option, but we're gonna try it. All we need is for that to stay up long enough for us to get onto it. jump off, I was going to say. But well, now we need to make another loop. gonna try and go on foot back this way. Oh, that's why I can't go on foot back this way. Okay, so we definitely need that cart. Or that... I don't even know what to call that thing. That platform? That means we're going to need to wait for it to do another loop. But I think this is doable. I just have to jump onto that platform and then when I'm jumping off, use the grappling hook to pull myself up as opposed to just trying to jump it. confused again. I can't just pull it from somewhere, can I? Like, this doesn't work. No. Okay, it has to be wound up. And then somehow I need to make it across that thing in time. a running jump will do it. I haven't necessarily noticed that running jumps do any more than 
regular ones, but if I could land on the platform with it still up. I feel like I'm probably missing something incredibly obvious. You know what? I don't think that was how I was supposed to do that, but I will take it. I think we have now... to spite my tormentors. But now I think I survived to spite myself. This is not a life worth saving. No one is. There are no people in the valley. I will teach them that this existence is not worth living. And now, at the very least, we've 100 percented this area. And I never have to worry about any of these challenges ever again. The area itself was fun. It was just that one document that made me angry. Apparently you're not talking to me anymore. Goodbye, I guess. I don't even know what happened to her grandparents at that point. Like, obviously, I know what she said right afterwards, but I haven't seen them since. Let's see. Where to next? We might go ahead and do some story stuff now. Yeah. As far as the Soviet installation goes, all there is is a challenge and some um, coin caches, and I don't have the faintest idea where the monolith for those coin caches is. If I've even unlocked them, they might still be locked behind some later quest thing. So that does seem to be the central area in there. We'll revisit the flooded archives at some point, but not right now. Geothermal Valley, all that's left is challenges. And one document somewhere. Where's that one document? <laughs> How do I not know where one more document is? Have I not gotten all of the maps? Huh. Ah well, either way. The Acropolis would be a cool one to revisit. Especially, you know what? I actually will revisit the Acropolis. Just to get coin cash. Just because I want coin caches. We are going to revisit the Acropolis because I want coins to spend at the shops. To spend at the shop.
Get a bunch of coin caches. Go hit up the shop. And then we'll do story stuff. Oh, there's a document. Nice. We are no match for Trinity. They are the ones that drove our forefathers out of the Empire, and now they have come to finish the job. We are a broken remnant of a once holy people. Only our cause remains. I do not believe in my heart that we can defeat them, but I know that we can die trying, and that God and the Prophet could ask no more. Headed in the right direction to get this one. <laughs> Yeah, I like these late game coin caches a lot more than the early game ones. Because the early game ones came in like ones and twos. And now if I got less than ten, I would be surprised. I think this game has done a pretty good job of driving home at least one point, which is that if the first thing someone plans to do with the gift of immortality is make an immortal army, they probably shouldn't be getting the gift of immortality. Okay, we'll fast travel over to here. And I probably should have checked the map before doing that to make sure that that is the correct camp out of the two over in this direction. Okay. So there is a coin case right here, and then we'll go ahead and fast travel over to this camp to get the stuff around it. Did I say coin case? I meant coin cash.
I'm still expecting, like, I'm still totally expecting to run into more enemies somewhere in this process. We should also keep our eye out for hanging walkie-talkies. That was a challenge in this area that we never did finish. How did I never find this before? It has been nearly a decade since Katesh was lost to us. In the first years, I thought we would not survive. We are the remnant of a once great people. But we did survive. The struggle became second nature, and then a way of life. Our numbers no longer dwindle. We may never be great again, but we will live. This winter, and the next. I know this in my heart, for God has given us a sign. Last night, a wild man wandered into our camp, wow. emaciated and raving with fever. <laughs> we gave him food, cut his tangled beard, and cleaned his wounds. The others do not recognize him yet. It has been too long. But I know him. The prophet. The prophet has returned to us. Someone actually figured out that Jacob was the prophet. Like, it probably should have been pretty obvious. In the grand scheme of things. Because he sure as heck acts like he is the prophet. Like, he acts very much like he is the one in charge. Kinda surprised that people didn't put it together beforehand. Like, I put it together after talking to him, like, twice. Did they store coins in a rock? Literally just a rock. gotten all of the walkie-talkies. There's very little point to completing those quests other than to get XP, and I'm not really that fussed about XP at this point. I've got basically all of the skills I've wanted to get. What's up here? Have I ever found this area before? This is where I started in this section? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, this must be how I got into this area. 
Okay. Well, anyway. Let's head back to camp. And then we'll do some shopping and then story progression stuff. Yeah, if there was one thing I would ask for from this game, it would definitely be a compass of some kind. Okay, I clearly don't know how to find anything. So it would just be nice to have all of the little markers and stuff show up at the top rather than having to open the map for them all the time. Especially the ones that you don't just have to check off as you go through, like, um, relics and stuff. So, yeah. We'll zip back to the story. And I will take a second to duck away and go to the restroom. Back in a minute. Ah, I see that the game has managed to freeze in the time since, in the time that I left to use the restroom. Well, at least I didn't miss anything. We'll start it up again. If you've frozen again, I'm going to be mad. I think it's frozen again. Why is this game so unstable? And also, why is it so randomly unstable? to be loading. See, that tip right there about dropping objects, that would have been a nice one to actually get a tutorial on. time to guess what type of loadout I'm going to need.
As much as I like the sniper, I'm about to be going through caves, so something tells me that I won't have the distance to really take advantage of it. This one can only carry two shots, I think. Yeah, I think I'll go with kind of my basic loadout for what each weapon is used for. Um... And I'll put my armor back on, because why not? Time to enter the tunnel! something to do with the creation of ore. Yeah, I'm aware of wall climbing and broadhead arrows, but there's a shiny thing here. Why she didn't push off the wall at first. At least, if nothing else, the grappling hook allows us to fix jumps that the game is deciding to be uncooperative with. call the head up here. Let's see what this satchel tells us. And we got a camp. I just have to catch my breath for a moment. This place. Katesh. Jacob, the deathless ones. I've been running so fast for so long, I haven't stopped to acknowledge the simple fact that all of this is real. A part of me can't believe it. But I know Jacob was telling the truth. Whatever made him is here, and I'm going to find it before Trinity. I only wish Dad was alive to share in his discovery. You know what, uh, I don't feel like going for the Greek fire resist actually at the moment.
increase explosive arrow radius. We could go for that one, actually. You know what? Yes. We'll do this. We'll be ready with explosive arrows. <laughs> one have any chromite? No. This one has some chromite, though. Amazing. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers before the Deathless bury the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. Okay, this is... This is a challenge tomb. Let me in. How do I get into this challenge tomb? <laughs> I guess I'm probably have to come at it from the other side? Is this an optional challenge tomb or is this one required? Do they actually have a required tomb? Oh. I should go ahead and drop a waypoint on that so that I don't miss it. I can pull that into place. <laughs> mm, I think I need to basically solve this puzzle before doing it. into the right position. Oh. <laughs> What's sad is I think I had it in the right position. Oh, no, it got put back to where it was when I was standing there.
What do you think? Can I get onto that? Kinda doubt it. <sighs> Got to get that into the right position. Oh, I see. I hadn't spotted the ones over there. But that's where I'm going to be landing when I swing. So that swings into place. I land here, and now I can get up to here. I gotta be honest, I question the logic of building this above a bottomless pit. Coins. It's locked. Just have to disengage the mechanism. I forgot to go shopping. I'm just realizing that now. another lock on the other side. I've noticed that she gives lots of hints, but only on required puzzles. That wasn't the right timing then, was it? I was just trying to make it to the middle. Figured if I could make it there, I'd have a decent shot. I'm starting to think that was the wrong play. Got to make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. This may be a dumb idea, but from what I remember about when it came around last time, I feel like I should be able to just straight up jump to this thing. And I think that was a dumb idea. Got to keep climbing. 
<laughs> okay, so it does just take us through that. <laughs> that was needlessly risky. So needlessly risky. What skill do they want to make sure I have access to so they put it directly on the path? The Codex. This one speaks of the advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. Classically trained. Increase the number of arrows that can be rapidly shot without redrawing from the quiver to three. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. But I won't question but I won't turn down the gift. Seventy-five percent completion. I have no idea what else there was to do in that area. Oh, there was a mural. There was a mural somewhere and I didn't see it. What the heck? I didn't move there. I was just standing on the bridge and it moved out from under me. Yeah, I don't see the mural. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. The old city is close. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes, they're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. Let me pick up the document. <laughs> I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge. Battle cry on my chapped lips. When consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much. But they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. <laughs> Even armed. I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself. But I live. Also, there's this little side tunnel here. And I'm curious to see where it goes. Oh, it goes to a treasure map. I appreciate it.
I don't know where that treasure map points. Probably farther along in this area. If I had to take a guess. I wish with how high my Greek skill was that it would give me subtitles for that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is going to break off. I mean, there wasn't another path. I couldn't have avoided dealing with the breaking ice. It was just, I did see it coming. <laughs> this the point when I get spotted and have to go through a rapid chase scene? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just, this is the same scenario as towards the end of Yamatai. <laughs> I love how smoothly I'm maneuvering on I jumped in the correct direction <laughs> as well as I could. She just didn't grab onto the dude's mustache. But yeah, this is the exact situation of Yamatai, except that we're not rushing in to try and save a specific person. We're trying to reach an artifact in time. Love how those guys don't show up as enemies. Yeah, I figured it might go wonky again. It's just mashed B. I mashed E to throw my grappling hook. And here's a new base camp. Nice. We're gonna fast travel real quick, because I want to go to the shop. I meant to do that first. <laughs> this will only take a minute. We're just gonna see if we can afford the newer right the fancy rifle. Rifle, tactical shotgun, pistol suppressor. Give me that tactical rifle. And I'm pretty sure that just by equipping it, um, we got some XP, or maybe not. Maybe we got the XP for buying it. Uh, 
I just want to see this thing real quick. What stats is it running? We'll fast travel back to where we were. And then I'll check, but... I do want to know what stats this thing is running. Watch as it turns out that it's like the same stats as the SMG or something. So yeah, obviously lower damage than the bolt action. A bit lower damage than the assault rifle, but a lot higher recoil stability, I see. That works. Oh, and we got a document coming up ahead. And a couple of documents and a relic. Nice. So yeah, that treasure map is definitely helping. Oh, these guys are a hundred percent gonna spot me. Sure. So many of them. So many immortal warriors. I'm not sure how this is going to end up, because at the end of the last one, we had a big fight with an Oni, but the Oni was... These notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one... These guys are actually apparently immortal. So I don't know if we're even going to be capable of killing one of them. Divine source is here. Then again, the they are wearing the armor, but so you would imagine that they have some reason With to the need source to protect at his disposal, themselves. The prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable. An army of wraiths and devils that can never die. The mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should okay, so it's a death and rebirth a type of for thing. Ourselves. I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. Jeez, that's two base camps with very little in between. Let's toggle that document to make sure that I don't miss it. Okay. Through the fire and the flames. Shit. Some haste. I would be very surprised if he hadn't spotted us there. Uh, 
I like that at the very least I can mash E to try and reconnect. Oh, heck. Okay, so I can kill them, they're just going to resurrect. How am I getting bullets from this? Are they just spawning endlessly? trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so I definitely should have worn the Greek fire armor from the last camp after the last campsite. Right, the healing materials that I literally never use. <laughs> Hang on, what's the challenge here? Use 
Greek fire to light the signal braziers? Hang on. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow up basically all of the weak fire real quick. one is showing up through a wall which makes me think it might be specifically related to the challenge. Why did that guy only have shotgun shells? That said, the low recoil on is honestly really helpful for these fights in particular. Okay, so we're in an arena fight. Please reload. I would like to reload. I would like the freedom to hit the R button and refill my play. actually kind of surprising. Oh, I probably could have shot those and dumped fire on those guys, made it a lot easier on myself. Real quick. Okay, yeah, I did need to reload that as well. Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the Prophet's path, and twice before they have vanished. He carried the Divine Source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place to retrieve the Divine Source. 
I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. General, we observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Gatesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the paths on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. So yeah, none of these people that I've killed will stay dead. They're all I'm going to come back odd. to life. Has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a. No, n not possible. Looks like a what? <laughs> Is it supposed to be looks like one of these soldiers? That was the residual explosions that it costs. It causes. Okay, I think I've hit all of the beacons up to this point. I've been pretty thorough. Those two came in a pair. Those two came in a pair, so I'm guessing the last two will be in a pair as well. Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. I guess it's honestly surprising that that doesn't happen more often. It's all my out of that area. Gosh dang it. Where were the other beacons? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we are going to have to go back as soon as we find a campsite. And try that again, because I want to know where the other beacons are. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. There is a crypt up here, so that's exciting. I don't know how I have it already marked. The 
chamber of souls. The divine source has to be there. Looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. Ah, and here is a campsite. And another Mongolian document. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the prophet's people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet. Their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. I don't know what I expect an immortal being to be like. But Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years. All that experience and knowledge. It's difficult to fathom. And yet... He lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. Take a second, fast travel on back. I expect that the beacons that I missed were somewhere close to the start, because I didn't realize that challenge existed until close to the end. <laughs> That's my logic here. There's a rope arrow anchor point right there, but I don't know what it would be anchoring to. Maybe if I go in from this angle now, I won't miss the ledge. Wait a second. This path doesn't go any farther, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's got to be something over here. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a glitchy maneuver. Is this just making sure that there is a way back? Huh, maybe. 
maybe. I don't see any beacons to light there. Okay, we'll do another quick zip back to there. Slightly faster than walking. Okay, it's gotta be somewhere in the early area that I just didn't spot. We gotta light the beacons. We gotta let Gondor call for aid. I see one. Five out of six. So I can tell which Greek fire things are related to them because they will glow with my special senses. Ha! There we are. <laughs> Any arrows around here? And just like that, we completed that challenge. <laughs> oh, I see why this is here. It's because there's no way to get back across that other zip line. Check. 100% complete. Nice. Now we'll continue. Again. Yeah, we still got a bit of time left. seem like I can do it from this range at least, but it was glowing. I can definitely light that up.
stay out of sight. Oh, hang on. Why is that statue glowing? So that's an option. Hold up. I really want to back up to the camp. Hang on. <laughs> We're going to exit to main menu and go back in. Because now that I know... I may have to do a quick fast travel, but now that I know what type of challenge is here, I really want my sniper equipped. auto shotgun equip the sniper as nice as the military gun is for As nice as the military grade shock as the military grade rifle is for actual combat, I'm kind of confident that I can actually bring down these guys with the rifle. And I'm prepared to test that here. If I can get a clear shot at one.
Dang, that death from above ability triggers from a long ways off. Fine, I won't try and fight them. Incredible. The style looks ancient, but it depicts a train. The coming of the Soviets. Yeah, I think spread options are definitely going to be the key for dealing with these guys if I want to actually fight them. I think this might actually be a time when There's something poison behind that arrows area. become very useful. Oh my gosh, there's an optional tomb in this area. Wow. That is... A bit scary, honestly. Okay, so I definitely need to enter that room from above or this side. Encountered something like that where I can pull it, but I can't pull it hard enough. At least not in this game. It happened plenty in the last game. It seems a little bit late to be introducing new mechanics, though, so it does make me wonder. Do I just need a different position or something? I see what I need. Luckily I did clear those guys out, because otherwise I would not be free to do any exploring. I still wonder why it highlighted the beacon if I can't light it. So how are boars alive in this area? Oh, that's very useful though. That tells me where so many relics are and documents. And they're all probably going to be scary. I'm going to have to fight my way through everything here. that. Um, 
before I do that, though, I remember spotting this thing here. Salvage is always nice. Or, yeah, scrap is always nice to get a hold of. Deathless are patrolling the streets, but I don't know how spread they are. All of the Deathless banners. Gosh dang, those are going to be hard to spot. Oh, or maybe they'll be relatively easy. Except there are eight of them, so some of them are definitely going to be really hard to spot. Why is that bell lit up? What can I do to interact with that bell? Okay. This is so intense considering if it actually comes to a fight, I can probably just go nuts with the machine gun or something and it'll be taken care of. must have suffered. A woman's necklace made of Baltic amber. <laughs> Incredible craftsmanship. It must have belonged to a noblewoman. Coins. Nice. So yeah, I'm trying to focus within a fairly small area for the moment. Okay, so there's a document over that way. Quite confident that there are still enemies about that I just haven't found yet. There's a document in there. find our way into this building that is signal bells I should take these out what signal bells oh is it on top of the building hang on it's like what signal bells are you seeing Okay, but I feel like taking it out will be about as noisy as not. Uh, 
Oh well, it's your game. One of five bells. There's another one. Jeez, there are a lot of challenges. I was a little bit surprised when having only found the camp and the document, we were only at 1% completion, but I kind of see it now. That is a lot of challenges. That is... How many challenges? Six. Six survival challenges in just this area. It doesn't surprise me as much anymore how much there is in this area. Okay, what if I just shoot the blue one? Is that a challenge? No. Oh, heck. That enough? Did that do the trick? Yes, that did the trick. Okay, that's another bunch of them. Or another pair of them, I should say. I think the smart move here is actually just to navigate around up above, take them out when I get the chance, and then once I've taken out as many of them as I can find, it'll be a bit easier to deal with the rest. Wow, dumping the blue fire on them really does work well. <laughs> Can I pick this up? like to. Thank you. Oh, there's a relic. There's a relic, there's a crypt. It's cool how many resources they give you in these areas so that you can pick stuff to suit your fighting style.
Oh, monolith. I almost missed that. Mongolian script. Oh, oh come on. I've been doing so much Mongolian reading lately. Why can't I translate that? There's a monolith right there as well. Oh wait, that's the monolith that I just looked at. Gosh, I really would prefer not to use explosions if I... I have made myself a refuge in this frozen hell, in the base of a crumbling tower. I have laid away food and weapons enough to defend myself, but I am the last survivor. By day, I watch the deathless army learn the paths they take. They follow the same patterns day in and day out, like men trapped in a dream. They are fierce, but they are hollow. Whatever made them men is long gone, replaced instead by the soul of cold iron. I must be careful, but I must know more about them. If this is what the source can do in the hands of a heretic, think of what it could do in the hands of the righteous. Okay, now I've got level 2 Mongolian. <laughs> and I've got a boy. Made of silver. It's seen a lot of use and travel, but has a rough portrait of the prophet. They must have begun trading with the outside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the document is much higher in the tower. There's a cave over there. Okay, let's head back to the monolith. I think it's safe enough to go on foot back to there. The fact that we don't have a free way of starting fire is a tad annoying. Hard to be sure. 
Mongolian grammar is tricky, but it reads like directions. And now we've got coin caches. <laughs> like I said, there's so much in this area. Okay, let's see where this is. Up there. there. Oh, dang. I've missed a bunch of bells just because I didn't spot them when I went to the areas where they were hung. I wonder why it prompted me when I found one of them, but not with the others. This thing is definitely meant to be connected up there. I still don't know how I'm supposed to light the beacons though, because I feel like that's one of the challenges, but I can't seem to get an angle on that particular beacon. The others feel like they're more doable, but this one, right up here, I can't see an angle for it. The only thing I can think is that maybe if I slid down from the top, I could cut loot, I could let go of the rope and try and jump to it, but that doesn't seem right. got a swing. That's neat. There is so much to do in this area. It's actually crazy. I pull this. No, it's not one of those swinging things. It's just a connection point for a zip line. Definitely not going into the crypt or the optional tomb just yet. And there's a simple reason behind that. I don't want to reset this area, which could potentially cause all of the enemies to respawn. Okay, I think the only way up to that shelf is going to be following that zip line. Luckily I cleared out the enemies right here already.
How do I get up there? Okay, surely there are new enemies over around this area. Really not? Okay. Nope. to do that, but I will grab this while I'm up here. It was not coins, so kind of a waste of time. I jumped. I don't know why it didn't. An ancient carving of a pagan god. Perhaps a fertility idol. It's thousands of years old. So were there people here before? The Prophet's Bunch? Okay. Hold up. Damn. Where is it gonna respawn me? Because that's... What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, I'm so far from where I was. How do I get up that tower? And that better not have respawned the enemies that I already took out in this area. I'm patrolling the streets. To stay out of sight. Oh my gosh, I think it did respawn them. Come on. annoying. They respawn any time I die. Can one of you please give me rifle ammo? at it a little bit more closely even if I got to the other end of that zip line I wouldn't be able to get onto it so it's got to be some other way to get up there
<laughs> I love how I can shoot climbable arrows in from all the way over here. Uh, that's funny. But seriously, how do I get up to there? ideas other than trying gimmicky jumps like that. I shouldn't be spending this much time on this, but it's annoying me that it feels like I'm missing something. That's basically the entire situation here. I feel like I'm missing an obvious solution, and that bugs me. literally right there and I feel like getting up there is possible already except that it doesn't seem to be and also I don't know why this wall is lighting up when it doesn't seem to be interactable in any way Okay, we still got some time to do some exploring. I guess we'll clear these couple of coin caches, this document, maybe some extra. Okay, statues destroyed. I'm guessing that has to be explosives then, because arrows didn't seem to be doing the trick. Bells should be pretty doable. Signal fires. Why can't I hit the signal fire if I'm supposed to be able to light it? Ugh. Okay. Let's see if we can spot the remaining bells. One is up there. don't know about the other one. Oh 
Okay, so they don't like aggro the entire city's worth. That at least is helpful to know. Because there was a part of me that thought that if I aggroed any of them, I would wind up getting the entire city on. that depends on quantity of hits or damage <laughs> but based on that brief interaction I'm going to guess that it was quantity in which case a shotgun would be much better for dealing with uh, for dealing with the statues Okay, come on, where are the ones over here? There they are. There we go. There's a shiny thing there. Oh, it's a coin cash. Nice. Is that a cam? stood on my own fire. Nice. I don't know how my own fire splashed that far from the Sorry, say Lorja, I just noticed your messages. Were you talking about when I was over there? Uh, trying to get to this relic. Because if so, good to know. I think I'm going to go for this document first, though, since I've already traveled all the way over here. I'm going to leave the challenge tombs until a later time. I don't think I have time today. But yeah, if you're talking about where I was, I didn't know that I could break the ice. down another f bell. I almost said flag, but no, that was a different area. I 
And I can get the document. I must have fallen asleep. It is hard to tell time beneath the ice. The Deathless Ones had been busy. Where a pile of ashes smoldered the night before, a corpse now lay. Skin as milky white as a dead fish. As I watched, the dead man breathed. A clicking death rattle in reverse as he sucked air in for the first time in a day. Then he looked at me, and I recognized him at last. I killed this man once before during the battle, and he has not forgotten. So I killed him again, crushed his new skull before he could stand, but his ashes smolder anew, and will not be here when he awakes. The cold look in his eyes was like a promise. Like the phoenix, he will rise again and again, each time more determined to end my life. If I stay, sooner or later he will succeed. Hmm, hang on. For the life of me, I can't figure out how to get close enough to that thing to light it. Okay, so that would take me the rest of the way. I go there by jumping on the arrows. I'm pretty sure this won't work. Yeah, I have to be lower than it to swing. <laughs> oh well. Tomb by swinging down. Hang on. I just want to see actually where. Okay, so that's there. That should be easy enough. It's getting up there that is annoying. out how I planned, but whatever. Auto regen is a heck of a drug. That was just me being dumb. There's a reason I have a bad at games tag on my screen. On my stream, and we're seeing this now. So I need to break the ice here or somewhere else. So obviously I can sink broadhead arrows into this. But other than that, I'm not sure how to approach. This is the bit that's tr that's giving me trouble. I haven't tried mo uh, most of the other objectives that I haven't reached in this area. I haven't tried to get to this crypt entrance, for example. I feel pretty confident that if I did try, I could do it. This crypt is just a matter of going underwater. That's easy enough to do.
Like, I see the shining on that wall, but when I try and target it with my broadhead arrows, it doesn't seem to do anything. Just being... Yeah, I can't target that bit with my broadheads, so I can't jump on arrows there. Something is missing. Yeah, I've had that happen a couple of times where something just glitched out, but I'm not willing to take a moment right now and exit the game, simply because I know that will reload the Guardians and I don't really want to deal with them. What I might just do, since the last few minutes have been kind of uneventful, let's dive into this crypt. Let's just go ahead and do this crypt. It will probably also reload the Deathless Army, but at the very least I'll have accomplished something by doing so. Valentinus, the timekeeper. Oh yeah, this wouldn't be the first time that something has failed to load or just not worked right. I tried all of the high dive challenges before, and I haven't got I haven't gotten that um, the first generation of followers that challenge done because it just wasn't letting me actually dive. Has spent his whole life devoted to the study I've of got three out of four now, but... The prophet sought him out in the crowd and asked him what he thought of the city. Valentinus said he felt it was a blessed place, that time would move slowly there, and that Katesh would last for generations untold. The prophet smiled, for he knew that he had made a home where his people might be safe. Honestly, if I had to come up with one complaint about this game, it would definitely be the number of glitches, because everything else is really enjoyable, but it doesn't seem like it- it does seem like it's got a few problematic bugs. Adventurer's Quiver, nice. For some reason I thought that was something that I had to unlock with my own supplies, but you know what, I'll take it. Can I please get out of here? Okay, this better not have spawned the guys just outside here back, because that would actually be a massive problem. 
Because I come up right in the middle of several enemies, if that's the case. Okay. These ones at least stayed dead for a little bit. Well, I am willing to leave that relic alone for the moment. Oh, is this? Hang on. Oh, it's a document. At last, I killed one of the deathless soldiers. I tracked him through the day until he was alone. He seemed to sense me before I struck, as if he knew the sound of my bowstring. He was strong, but I am clever and I have faith. My arrows pierced his flesh, but he fought on until I placed a shot between his eyes. Even then, he managed to wound me before I caved in his skull. His body caught fire and fell into ash before my eyes. You play on Xbox, but PC has more bugs. It's been hours since he died. Steam has a way to fix bugs. Unfortunately, hissing and I own this through Epic. <laughs> I can't I really complain because, because I got the game for free. This was but a great and terrible sway over those at times. I own it through Epic, so I must know what happens next. a lot of the Steam fixes don't work. Things tend to be a bit more unstable. Give me the thing. Give me the thing. <laughs> Are there any banners that I can see from here? I've been keeping as close an eye out for them as I probably should. Signal bells. I should take these out. Didn't I already take this one out? Why are you announcing this again? <laughs> Lara, have you been paying any attention to what we've been doing here? So we've taken out like four. Interestingly, I'm not sure where the last one is. All of the others were pretty obvious. Let's check out. Yeah, it's no big deal. And like I said, I can't really complain when I got the game for free. I'm pretty sure I heard a bear from over here, so I'm just gonna have some nice ammo ready. Oh. 
Oh, I do love the sniper. You have to use the trebuchet to light the things. Oh, that makes sense. That does make sense. I love the damage on the sniper, though. Like, genuinely, absolutely my favorite weapon. <laughs> I've spent so much time just playing with it and getting into unnecessary fights because I could use the sniper to finish the to finish enemies off when I really shouldn't even bother fighting the enemies. A blue glass vase. Still in excellent condition. That is Not many pretty. of you survived, for obvious reasons. Yeah, a mountain of ice falling on a city tends to break glass objects. I imagine. I mean, I've never had it happen to me, but I assume that a lot of glass would get broken if a small mountain of ice fell on your city. Okay, I see a shiny down there, and a relic over there. I think this might be the last optional tomb in, it, like, around the valley. Okay, so we should have revealed some survival caches. the entrance to the two. What do we have here? An iron pendant. Soldiers in the Empire would sometimes tie them to their belts. I'd love to know the purpose, Lara. Would you care to enlighten someone with as little history understanding as I have? could hold out I think I'm gonna hold out for the rucksack because honestly the amount of material the materials that I've had to skip in this whole process are kind of annoying I like being able to pick everything up so having to pass stuff by bugs me <laughs> death from above adrenaline care about any of these. They buff the chances of looting alternative of special ammo, but I don't really care about that. I think I'll just go for death from above. I haven't found myself lacking special ammo yet. Sounds pretty nice. 
And I could still <laughs> upgrade this, but it's literally just a quality of life upgrade. I'd rather spend my resources on other stuff. Let's see, my bows have been warranting something for a bit. Yeah. That, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. That was a bunch of hide that I now don't have. this tomb gonna look like? Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> nice call back to the geothermal caverns no in the last the game. Must be some way of breaking through. Hmm. Demonic possession. They were performing exorcisms. <sighs> no way to open that gate. Some way of breaking through. Okay, let's see what these do. Another document? No telling how many people died. My mind is clear today. It was not so yesterday, and it will not be again. They say the devil is inside me. They say I am possessed. I have seen the beast in my heart, and it is only me. Only my broken mind. But the priests will not listen. I cannot blame them. Some days they appear to me as apparitions of manifest pain and hatred. So clouded are my eyes. I spit and yowl, for I am mad. But I know there is no evil in my heart. Only sickness that no man can cure. Yeah. Okay, so that was not the right approach. <laughs> no 
telling how many people died here. Oh, that's it. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm just being dumb. <laughs> Here we go. So if I open the if I open that up and drain the water, I can get down here and break the thing that's holding it. Then, thanks to that, now I can lift that up. All right, that should be high enough. So what happens? Maybe I'm on the wrong side of this thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get that, but at the same time... <laughs> that looks about right. Let's see if it works. Okay. Let's desecrate another two. Is still too close. Okay. I'm going to try and not mess this up this time. Especially since I think I can probably pull these things from the top. I've just been pulling them from the bottom because that's where I was, but... No. Huh. I actually thought that would work. Well, at least that's one mistake that I wasn't making. Shift can. Oh, and that's it? Dang, I was actually expecting a lot more complicated. What lore do I learn here? A codex. Oh my god, this It's probably about this is all the formula we're going for to Greek do. fire. I can make Greek fire now? They burn through enemy armor. As an aside, I'm pretty sure that making Greek fire is actually a lost art, so she theoretically just got access to no to knowledge that no one in the modern world has. Which is pretty wild. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think that Greek fire is actually a lost art. Mm. Demonic possession. They were performing. Deep below the holy ground of our city, we have found the source of the corruption. One of hell's winding tunnels snakes up and vomits yeah. forth a miasma of evil. I don't know why there it is no pattern for the demon's depredations, the but his mark is plain. But... Men driven to wicked words and acts. The game is behaving God's grace weird is driven today. from them. We take <laughs> them knows? here to the mouth of hell itself to drive out the demons. We do not always succeed. Often the poor wretches are too far gone and they die when we drive the Maybe beasts out of them. I never picked this one up. I actually it don't think It is heartbreaking to lose good people. 
but we must stand against the devil in all his forms. You take them here to the area with, you know, psychedelic and hallucinogenic gases, and think that will improve things. Yeah, it makes sense. It checks out. Oh my gosh, that is trippy though. <laughs> We're probably gonna call it there. Simply because I'm actually running out of time. So we gotta hit the gym tonight and stuff like that. And I'm tired because I haven't eaten in like six hours. Well, I'm hungry because I haven't eaten in like six hours. Uh... Sailor Jim, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you feel like it, go ahead and drop a follow. Um, I expect that we'll finish this game up either... Actually, let's take a second and check that. Oh, hey. Thanks for hanging out, Be Marching. Ooh, hold up, there is one more thing we're going to do. Because apparently... There are a couple of survival caches. Yeah. Later. Thanks for stopping by, but... Uh, let's snag these before I forget them, because it would be annoying to have to come back for them. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, and if we don't finish the game tomorrow, I'm sure we will Friday. There isn't too much left of it, from what I can tell. Okay, this has to be a little bit farther back along the tunnel. I'm still loving this game, and we are still almost certainly going to go straight into the next one afterwards, because... is this thing? Is it over here? I'm so thoroughly confused. It should be off in that direction. In the world? up there? It's a lot farther this way, so... Now I'm getting confused. Every so often it breaks out one of these that just throws me for a loop. gotta be a path over here that I'm missing. Otherwise it just doesn't make sense. Just that I'm supposed to go through the asses? Where the crap is that pointing me? Okay, the only option left is that it's somewhere farther out the cave. 
In which case, we can just get it next time. actually so sneaky. There's a bunch of stuff over here, too. The treasure map for this tomb. And I've already gotten everything else. Because it was the last thing I found. Okay, I actually really like that. That was sneaky. I appreciate the cleverness. But that is where we're gonna leave it. Because I'm hungry. And I gotta get ready for the gym. Thanks everyone for hanging out and watching. I appreciate y'all. Um, we will... Exit to menu just to check our completion percent. Eighty-five percent complete, yeah. I think we're probably gonna finish this up tomorrow. That's my guess. No guarantees, but we aren't going to bother 100%ing this beforehand, just because I felt like that was a boring stream when we did it last time. Yeah, in the meantime, have a good evening, everyone. Hope to see you next time, and I appreciate y'all. Later, folks.